Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we have created all the type definitions. Now we are going to create the resolvers. Okay. And we are going to use uh, this GraphQL tool. This is a utility which is going to help us in merging the type definitions and merging the resolvers. You can see, I mean you can also define the dot GraphQL multiple files and then you can merge them using this load sync file path, all the, the GraphQL files which are defined for each and every module. Or what you can do is, let's say you have the type defined. These are like you have multiple schemas or multiple resolvers, right? You can merge them using merge resolver utility which is coming from GraphQL tool merge. Same thing you can use to merge the different types because in the schema what we have, the resolvers and the type. So you define the types in multiple files, you define the resolvers in multiple types like user post comments in three different folders. Then you can use merge resolvers and merge type def from the GraphQL tools. Okay, and then you got the, the root resolver and root type definitions, just pass them while creating the server. Okay, same thing we are going to do. Here we have created the type definitions and we are going to use this index.js to merge all the type definitions, right? So what we can do is uh, we can use it for merging the type definitions and merging the resolvers. So how this look like? So we can just import all the type definitions. First we will use this import utility, merge resolvers, which we are going to define now. Import merge resolver. Resolvers from this is going to come from the GraphQL tool. Graph tools. From the graph tools, we can use merge. And same thing we can use for the type definitions. Here you can Im import all the uh, type definitions and the resolvers. Similarly, we have import merge type def. Let's define this later, and we are getting it from the same GraphQL tools and merge. We can just specify it here only. So this is merge type def. Okay. Now we will import all the types here. Okay, user type is coming from, this is coming from types. Similarly, we can get the comments and post quickly. And we will just do const type def, we will create an array. Just fix these, const post, and then we have another is a comment. This is coming from comment. This is coming from post. Okay, now we can pass them in an array post and comment, and then we can export two things from here. Type def, we can actually merge this, merge type devs and we can pass this array and the second argument is we can specify this is first argument merge type dev all true so this is our type definitions now similarly we will also merge all the resolvers once we get them so resolvers will also be merged in the same way here instead of types we will just replace this as a user resolver post resolver and comment resolver just to have a different name and we are getting this from the resolvers folder these we are going to define now once we have all the resolvers we can do 
uh, I mean we can just do the merge resolvers and we can pass the user resolver, comment resolver and post resolver. And comment resolver. So we got both, right? All the resolvers are being passed. So now what we are doing is this is resolver. We can call it as a root resolver, let's say, and this is a root type def. Okay, we have both the things. We can export these. Exports and we can export root type def so same can be imported and root resolver okay so this is why it is complaining and i can do it like this Export const because these are the two different const. I am exporting them like this. This is how we are doing ES6 common JS modules. Okay, so we are exporting these. Now we can create resolvers like comment resolver and all. So let's define simply first user resolver because here we are going to interface with uh, database. Okay, so export default. And here we are going to define all our query and mutation which we have. So what all query we have in for user and then we have a mutation. And some custom types, right? So in the query, we will define all our query, which is user and user list mutations, and we have a user type also, because in the user type we have post and comments, which we have to resolve, right? So we will define these functions together. So this is post, and this is comments whatever the post and comments that user has done we are also trying to return that I am talking about this user type and in the user type if we go we also have the posts and comments so how do we resolve it that we have to define here in the resolver that whenever you wanted to return a user with the posts and comments this is how you are going to resolve okay I placed it in the wrong file this is user.js now all the query so here we are going to access the methods okay the first query is user and this is my simple function what all arguments it is going to have so it is async function because we are going to do a dp call parent and the argument if you are passing id and then we have context so from context we can access models right and the last argument is info what happened no we don't need models here we are getting models from the context now the, our simple db calls will be return await this is async await models dot user dot find one so this is like a database query you are doing you are passing the id 
and dot exe c so it can return a promise right so this is user another query we have is users we'll just copy things from here and we'll change so this is users it doesn't have any argument so you can just put we are not extracting anything from the argument we can still access models and what we are doing here is we are uh, just generating user dot find one i mean we just need to get the all the users so there is no criteria you can pass the empty uh, object and here we need to populate populate the post and comments because there is a relationship user has a relationship with the post and comments we can populate that data also and once we receive this data we have to structure it we are getting users now what we need to return if we are getting users users dot map and we are getting individual user and we have to just restructure it based on the format we need so here u dot id underscore id because this is an object id we have to convert it into a string because this is of type string then we have a name all the other types u dot name i will just directly come to the major ones which are posts so u dot posts we will get and we will get comments also okay why it is complaining it okay we have to return it so it should be inside these brackets now it is fine either you write a return and then return this object just to have a more readability what we can do is this is our arrow function here we come and return this whole object okay so we, we can also define the email as and all these like arguments so we have email that's it so we are getting or extracting all the arguments so this is our queries just only queries and when it comes to mutation that means we wanted to create a user update a user let's write a one mutation then rest we will structure create user this is a mutation name right the same naming we have to use in the async function we have parent and here we are going to access the argument object there i am getting user if you go to the query uh, create user here we are accessing the user so it's like argument dot user which we can access directly using destructuring user and i can access the models from the context and then last argument is info this is arrow function so const new user this we are going to structure and how we can do await new user and we can pass all the objects okay because we just need to do new user dot save this is how the mongodb work user dot name then we have email which we are getting from user dot email i mean we, you can also do the validations and throw the validation errors if your payload is not coming as expected like email is not coming as expected then what we can do this is the, the new user object now we need to do new user dot save which is going to return a promise okay so if we just look into the documentation we can also return a promise return new promise i mean just promiseify it so resolve comma reject i mean we are just creating a promise wrapper on that new user dot save and this is going to return a callback error or response if there is an error so here we will do it like this if there is an error that means we are going to reject this with uh, the error otherwise we will resolve it that means the user is created I, I will try to simplify it more 
you don't need to write the the promise file wrapper so this is our create user now similarly we have update user delete user so i will just copy this one in the update user we are just passing one more argument right here we are passing the id so we are going to get two argument from the underscore from the arguments id and user so first we will check does the user exist i mean we can just directly do a find by id and update okay so what it does uh, we can access the models so await uh, or how we do it we already have a user object models dot user models dot user here we do have one method find by id uh, and update i think yes this is a method you just need to pass the underscore id and your payload what you are going to do so once the id is found i'm going to set so this is a dollar set i'm going to update the whole payload with this user object which i'm getting okay if uh, this doesn't exist then create it as a new true and just to convert it into a promise dot exdc we can just return is return await something like this we will also i will also test it if this is how it works because this is going to return a promise we are just doing await on that okay then delete till it is find by id and delete same thing here we are going to get only the id we don't we are not going to get the user find by id and delete models dot user dot find by id dot exec we don't need to worry about all those things just pass the id okay so that's it about the resolvers uh, the resolvers we are writing this should be capital okay so we have written a user resolver still we have to define these types okay when you are rendering a user how to render the posts because based on the user id you should be able to render the post for the user you should be able to render the uh, comments for the user so this should be simple what we are doing here is in this we are passing the parent i mean from the parent we will get the id parent is the user object argument context and info three four argument we are not using all of them and we can do is return await post dot uh, okay we can access models directly here so models dot post dot find because we want to find uh, author for this in the user we have the post means we can also return the information of that author should be same as the id we are we are getting author is same as the id same logic we can apply here for the comments here we are going to look into the comments entity comments model model dot comment because in comment also there is an author which is same as the user id which we are getting from the parent object so this is how we can simplify the types because in the user we are going to how we are going to return the post and comments so we have to explicitly say when anybody is requesting the post information inside the user query then this is how you are going to resolve models.post.find return the same author because in the post we have author id in the comments also we have author id and that id we are getting from the parents so we can return it like this okay so in the next video we will write the resolvers for rest of the post and comment and then we will run this application this is nicely nice and clean